First on KMIR tonight, claims that one of the largest instances of sexual abuse in U.S. history could have taken place right here in Riverside County. Private investigator Luis Bolognas revealed his allegations today on the steps of Riverside County Courthouse. The alleged predator, Kevin Duffy, a former Riverside County Sheriff's investigator with the Hemet Station, Bolaño says whistleblowers tell him the Riverside County Sheriff's Department's leadership covered up the abuse after the investigator committed suicide. He now wants the public's help in finding possible victims who have been silenced now for nearly a decade. Sources and whistleblowers close to the investigation strongly believe that there was at least 250 victims, 50 separate cases that were prosecutable against Kevin Duffy for child molestation. The only purpose of this hotline is to give them the help they need and to get the details, the specifics from the mouths of the victims themselves. If they want to pursue this in any way, shape, or form, that's up to them. I will provide them with any and all information that we uncover. KMIR News did request an interview with the sheriff and documents from the Riverside County Sheriff's Department about this case. The Sheriff's Department says it's reviewing our request. Now, we also requested documents from the District Attorney's Office, Mike Hestron's office. They told us that the files were exempt from California Public Information Act. But if you or anyone you know knows anything about this information, you're urged to call the hotline that's been set up. Let's check in with Kitty Alvarado, who's been covering the story, and joins us now with the very latest on this. Kitty. Well, that's right. And uh, it's really unbelievable. Some of these uh, allegations that have been leveled against the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, well, they're pretty serious. And we sat down exclusively with one of the whistleblowers who tells us that it's about time this case was blown open. Generally, the bonds that are created in law enforcement dominate your social life also. This now retired Riverside County Sheriff's employee, Will Call Randy, says the bonds among the department run deep. It's, it's a brotherhood. But says a culture of politics first has been impeding with their job to protect and serve. When politics conflicts with that goal, then that is to the detriment of every cop uh, everywhere but particularly the people that work for the Riverside County Sheriff's. He says he first noticed the culture of politics and cover-ups when several RSO promotional tests for investigator and lieutenant were compromised. Cheating, cheating on the test. And instead of throwing out that test and disciplining the people that were involved in the, in the cheating, it was all pretty much covered up. He says looking into that, led to a more serious cover-up. There were multiple allegations of, of molestation with the kids. One that involved an investigator he once admired. Kevin Duffy. Kevin was a longtime Hemet investigator. He and I worked on several homicides together, and we developed a close friendship. Duffy was popular and beloved in the community and received many awards for his work with children. He was very involved in, in youth community, and he uh, was in the, uh, the sheriff's outreach to um, at-risk children. He says those were the very children he preyed on. So there were seven allegations that had been confirmed at the time of when he was brought in for his interview. He says at that interview, Duffy was confronted with a mountain of evidence and given a lie detector test. Then, instead of taking him into custody, Randy says they did something out of the ordinary. And what was unusual was at the end of that interview, they let him go home. The thinking in not booking him and letting him go home was that he would do what as cops, we would call, he would do the right thing. Then, 10 days later... He went to the Motel 6 and uh, shot himself in the head. The case, or allegations, never came to light. In fact, news of his death at the time did say he was being investigated. Obituaries popped up with his name, praising him as a good man who helped kids. His alleged victims erased from history. We all thought it was going to be a tsunami for the department, and, um, and it just went away. 
And that's what bothers Randy. If he was just a citizen, there probably would have been a, a notice in the paper, hey, anybody that has any information on this, please please notify the sheriff's department. If you had contact, if you think you might have been a victim, that's how you investigate one of these things is you start following up on on everybody who that predator was in a position to have victimized. We obtained the coroner's report signed by Sheriff Stan Sniff. It says on January 12th, Duffy was walked off the job for misconduct with a minor. It also says three days later, he was brought in to take a polygraph test. When Duffy got home hours later, the report says his wife noticed marks around his neck that looked like he tried to hang himself. The next day, it says a friend found him trying to commit suicide with carbon monoxide in his car. So, who made the decision to send Duffy home? If I were to have to put money on it, I would say it came from the top. It came from the sheriff. We requested an interview with the sheriff and documents from the Riverside County Sheriff's Department about this case. The Sheriff's Department says they're reviewing our request. We also requested documents from the district attorney's office. Hestron's office sent us a response stating the records were exempt under the California Public Records Act. Randy says the majority of those who wear the RSO badge are good, but the organization is not what it used to be. You've got this whole organization now where, where everybody spends all day covering their rear end instead of being cops and doing the job. If there is something that's hurting the department, hurting its reputation, is threatening the integrity of the department, and it needs to be weeded out. He says if the department had done things differently, Duffy would be in prison. His alleged victims would have all been found and received the support they needed. There is potential for hundreds of victims. And we want to stress these are allegations. We look forward to sitting down with Sheriff Stan Sniff so he can explain anything he knows about this case. Now, if you or anyone you know has any information about this case, you are urged to call the hotline set up by GitBit Investigations at 833-44-CHILD. And no detail is too small in a case where children are involved. I'm Kitty Alvarado.